So about every five years a general election takes place in Ireland. There are five main parties and each one of them, besides Bush and Fein really, will generally take turns in the systematic ruining of our nation. There are many problems that the Irish public face during this election time. Many will share their grievances to the social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter, but this is where I step in. As never before will have such grievances been shared to the channel of a struggling YouTube creator. And my problem with Irish politics isn't the huge salaries that most of the politicians are on. Or not even the massive mugshot posters plastered on every single lamppost, gate and fence in the country only to be discarded a month later like Rod Little's wife for a young one. The candidates are of course legally obliged to take them down, win or lose, but this is Ireland so uh, of course that doesn't really happen. If it weren't for the courageous student population taking back the posters to their personal landfills and decorating their student accommodation as if they were drunken coked up Dermot Bannon, then the problem would be much worse. You know, my problem is much more uh, deep rooted into the abysmal way the country has been run up until now. In fact, it hasn't really been run at all, more of a, a gentle stroll at best. My problem is with the politicians themselves. Take the current crop of young go-getters. The current political leader of our nation, Leo Radcliffe. Probably the only thing I share in common with him is a dodgy hairline. Roll back to 2016 and he wasn't even elected to office by the Irish people, but just rather voted within the party as the current leader at the time, Enda Kenny, stepped out from office. Leo has led a life far removed from the average Irish person. But not for the reasons Cough Cough, MMA fighter, Paddy the Hooligan Hooligan outlined. Now this video caused him to be suspended by his party Sinn Féin, and rightly so. Fair to say he won't be getting a job at the Irish Tour Sport anytime soon. You can change an MMA fight record from 12-2-1 to 12-3-1. We also have the Irish Freedom Party this year strongly against immigration, putting forward an immigrant for our election themselves. Okay, where did you come from? I come from America. <laughs> captured on video over the years, such as the Paul Gogarty. Please. Fuck you, Deputy Stike. Sorry. Fuck you. Which made the Irish Parliament meeting seem like an MMA post-fight call-out. Fuck you, Deputy Stike. Sorry. Fuck you. Maybe Paddy Hoolan might win a fight after all. Billy Doe's Gogarty isn't the foreigner, so I might not take his interest. Another great video that I saw coming up to this election is from Irish Freedom Party's Ben Gilroy, who seems to have quite the phobia plywood. Vivian, I'm against pollution, but this crowd, no thanks. It's like an over-aggressive episode of Hole in the Wall. Ring on the wall! They have to go. They think they're tough. I think they did that on Takeshi's Castle first. Oh, yeah. oh. We'll have the choice at last to put someone strong in to represent those people in the doll. That's what playing Junior B will do to you. Very intimidating ending. Vote for me, I'll come to your house and bait ya. He's a nice he's a nice slogan in the background, we'll take a swing at it. Ben Gilroy needs to chill right. And may, maybe he does this for other things he's angry at. They were weak as hell. They have to go. Well there's an article here that says a judge warned him if he tried to arrest employees of a mortgage company, he would then be uh, arrested himself. He's like if Dog the Bounty Hunter played cornerback for a heenie. He only, he only seems to have one side though, so I don't think his court would be too happy about that. But by far, the best video of this election has to come from this guy. It's an uh, amazing campaign song to the tune of Come Out Ye Black and Tans. A song which has deep roots in Irish independence and Irish struggle for freedom. Um, now we used to get votes for a, a Kerry politician. <laughs> Just so wholesome and down to earth. See how Healy Ray will work both night and day for the kingdom and the country in Don Aaron. When he takes the cap off, it's like looking at a turtle without its shell on. Independent man, he'll always do the best he can. He'll never let the parties push him over. Use your vote on the day and make it Healy Ray. For your problems, he's always got solutions. Yeah, let's just hope Wilshie doesn't get his hands on it for a remix. I mean, I think he could have done a better job on the song, and that's coming from a guy who did this song, but that's unimportant. Let's look at what he has done. Recently, he had a fundraising lotto, queried by Gardy. Yeah, the, the multi-millionaire needs a fundraising lotto. He was charging 30 euro for one ticket and 50 euro for two tickets. The top prize was only one grand. Most GAA lottos in the country would have about 10 grand up, and a ticket only cost two euro. I don't know how many people entered the lot of bullshit, but a one grand prize for a 30 euro ticket doesn't really seem that great. Especially when most of the hardcore supporters are elderly. Like on the Euro Millions, you can win 100 million. 
for just the 250 line. He's also the only person I've seen to be friends with John Delaney. You will be most welcome to Kerry. You will get what I would call the mother of all welcomes when you come to Kerry because your reputation and your respectability will precede you down the road before you land. It Bully. was, it that was, was you shocking, are, no. it was craven, Why, you and be... it was leprechaun because you just want a few quid Why? for a few goalies nets in, in Kerry. They're only minor infractions really compared to his brother who wants to bring back drink driving, denies climate change, and thinks the fairies are damaging our roads. Yes, Tinkerbell and our friends are responsible for the millions of taxpayers' money that goes into the upkeep of our roads. Uh, ring forts or fairy forts or leases which uh, they were called by, are, are still being called by um, many people. You're not to touch those because um, they, 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 whatever way they were put there, there are big mounds, there, a lot of work went into them without machinery and they were handmade obviously and, uh, and we do know that they're all uh, connected underground. In complete coincidence, the Healy Ray owned plant hire company responsible for the upkeep of the roads he was referring to has received millions off the Kerry County Council to keep these roads free from fairy damage. The Bull District Council that her father is convinced that the fairies are interfering at the road at Glenfesk on the outskirts of Killarney and a plant hire owned by Healy Ray has earned 8.7 million euro. Not so away with the fairies, in it would seem. Yeah, he's, he's good with the, with the money uh, and in, in state and county council contracts over the past two decades. Uh, the company Healy Ray Plant Hire has secured more than 7 million in contracts from Kerry County Council since 1999, mainly to provide machinery for roadworks projects. Do you think that the fairies are in cahoots with the Healy Rays? <laughs> he also appears to be the only politician in world history who wants to bring back drink driving. I'm asking you to provide a permit for the people who are only travelling on local rural roads, class three roads, so that they can have their two points and drive home on these roads. Which uh, comedian Tommy Tiernan actually has a brilliant joke about. Politicians like Jackie Healy Ray and Michael Healy Ray, Ireland right now is the only country in the world that's actively working to try and reintroduce drink driving. This is... <laughs> the Mexicans wouldn't even have the balls for that like this is... To be fair, maybe as a point, maybe it will kill two birds with one stone. Drunk drivers might knock down a few fairies in the road on the way back from the pub. Despite every reputable scientist saying climate change is very real, he is a denier of climate change. To Eamon Ryan, I think you will have to change because I don't, I don't agree with all this story about climate change at all. And the 12th centuries, the, this country was uh, roasted out of it. And in the 13th, uh, the 15th and the 16th centuries, we were drowned out of it. Yeah, I think roasted out of it and drowned out of it are the scientific terms used. This is like if Greg Thunberg heard all our information about climate change down with the local. Indeed, I say to Eamon Ryan, I think you will have to change because I don't, I don't agree with all this story about climate change at all. Because if we go back to the 11th and the 12th centuries, the, this country was uh, roasted out of it. And in the 13th, uh, the 15th and the 16th centuries, we were drowned out of it. Now, I do slightly see where he's coming from. I guess that we still had horrific winter events hundreds of years ago, but they just seem to be getting all too frequent now. Now, for the two brothers, I'm sure they will get elected, and they will also make sure their children get elected in the future. Children such as Councillor Jackie Healy Ray and Kevin Healy Ray, who were convicted of assaulting a UK tourist in Kinmare. Apparently, Kevin barged his way to the front of the ship van queue. The tourist called him out in it, and Kevin said the immortal line, this is my town and this is my chip van before the drunken assault took place. I, I think it was William Wallace who first penned that actually. If, on, if only the tourist had Ben Gilroy by his side. I don't think the song he came up with really encapsulates what they're all about, so I decided to make one myself. You know, they can feel free to use it out in the campaign trail. I was born in a cabbage patch out the back of my parents' thatch. Me and my brother in Kilgarvan And every fairy got a fright When they saw us in sight Pissed off our heads inside Mam's Yaris Come out ye Tinkerbell Come out and fight me like hell I'll show you the wheels of my Yaris Tell them how the Healy Rays made 8.7 million From the green and broken lanes of Kilgarvan Come tell us how you slew in our poor chip van queue. Like the famine, the hunger was upon us. How bravely you faced the sun with your quarter pounder bun. And you found out it was our turn and our chip 
than Come out ya English man, come out and fight me like a man Show your wife how oh, you've got nothing for this supper Tell him how the Healy Rays, bit more English than the IRA In the queue for the chip van in Kenmare so that's the video. Make sure to get your flat caps on and go out and vote on February day. Vote for whoever you want, but make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you next time around.